Hello my loves and welcome once again to Plot 25. I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those Vegan, vegan Guys. And this is Vlog 78. That's like crazy isn't it? it we'll so, be at 100 before we know it. I know and these are, they're going to start winding down now and getting shorter because you know as we kind of hurtle towards uh, autumn. Um, <coughs> is it the 11th of September today? I think. It is the 11th of September today. So yeah, the uh, coming to the end of the growing season, mm -hmm. um, but we thought today we'd um, do a bit of harvesting, like we said in last week's vlog. Well, we need to harvest a couple of squashes, I think, ready to go in the cupboard and do what they do. Cure. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, the, all the onions need harvesting now. We've got one more potato plant that needs harvesting now. And then you're going to have a chat about the tomatoes, aren't you? You just kind of... Yeah, a little bit of a focus in today's vlog around tomatoes because I think some people uh, would find it quite daunting to grow their own tomatoes, particularly from seed. Um, we're not experts, so I have to, you know, I have to put that out there. Um, there's a lot of conflicting information online, but what I wanted to do today is just maybe take five minutes out of the allotment vlog to just have a bit of a focus on the success that we've had with our tomatoes as this year and, and why and why the variables in there and just show you what we've been able to achieve with kind of three or four different types of experimentation going on with the tomatoes mm. so we've yeah done really well this year because we've got even we've gone through loads of tomatoes in fact i've just done a kind of uh, vlog on uh, the pasta sauce that i make for the freezer with our tomatoes and dried tomatoes kind of <laughs> i'll lick it up there um, chaotic kitchen vlog where our onions uh, have I already said that onions yes. need harvesting yes. so I think we're going to do that first and get them on our drying rack here um, and I'll possibly in about a month or so maybe less than that I'll plant some more Japanese onions in there which are the ones that grow over winter nice so let's begin let's do it They're just literally just, yeah? Yeah, if they look like, it's like these ones, Jay. Yeah. They, they leave them. Just the big ones. They just. might become onions. And they might not, and if they don't, that's fine too. So uh, we're all about uh, teaching our onions that they can be whoever they want to be. <laughs> Some of these are crackers though, look at that. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Butterfly. I don't think you like onions, and even if you did, you wouldn't be welcome here to eat ours. Might well scamper off. Mm. Yeah, some of these are not so good. Yeah, but the but vast, both. the majority of them are great. Yeah, these not so good ones will be good for the uh, compost. Oh, 
maybe it's just a twist. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Fantastic. Can you see how we're on you? Yeah, you can, just yeah. about, can't you? Yeah. So they, those will all stay on there now for weeks, basically, and I'll take them as I need them. Take them home as I need them. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of shelter there as well from the... Just hang them upside down like that with the stalk still on, they somehow stay fresh. I don't know how that works, but I love that it does. It's a great thing. It's a great thing, isn't it? So as you've seen, um, another bumper harvest today. Squash say. It's incredible. All the potatoes that we got, that's an added bonus because you never really know, do you? No, and that was one plant, so that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, just a little bit of a chat, as we'd said at the start of the vlog. We want to just encourage us uh, to not be too daunted and to maybe consider having a go uh, growing a couple of tomato plants mm -hmm. uh, maybe next year. Uh, and we're just going to have a quick chat about our process. The first year we did it, we got donated a couple of tomato plants off our neighbour. Yeah, but we grew a lot from seed as well at home. Uh, you may have seen little snippets, we'll insert a picture here of our uh, tomato growing rack yes. at home. Uh, that's where they've always started off. And then it, but our first year, um, those of you that know, will know that we got blight. And we think that we encouraged it because blight is like a, it's like a mould disease. Yeah. You know. Late blight it was. Yeah. Um, and I think to be fair, you know, just in terms of sharing the knowledge that we've gained from the last sort of 18 months or so, like I said at the start, there is a lot of contradictory information online, but the two elements that we found have really helped this year has been um, spacing out the plants so they've got a little bit more air circulating around. That's massive. Um, and also um, picking bits off, taking bits off the bottom of the plant um, to encourage growth. Yeah, pruning. Pruning, yeah. Um, which also gives them space for the air to sort of circulate. We've tried to cover this as we've kind of gone along, but I suppose what we're saying here is if you've got a balcony or a porch, like, you know, you don't have to have a greenhouse or an allotment to uh, grow tomatoes. One of our neighbours here has got tomatoes growing outside and they're massive. Yeah. Like, absolutely massive. Well, that's the other thing to mention. I mean, we've got our neighbours that have got varying successes, just like us on our plot 25. But what we've done with our tomatoes this year, I think, is really interesting because through necessity, more than anything else, we've got four different systems going on. We've got a random tomato plant that we just stuck in the ground in Utopia to see what had happened with it, and we got some tomatoes off that. We put some outside because we didn't have enough space in the greenhouse and we didn't repot them and we got tomatoes off them. Yeah. We've got some in the greenhouse that we didn't repot because we didn't really have the soil or the pots and we got tomatoes off them. Yeah. And then the big ones, obviously, that we did repot, we're getting the biggest amount of tomatoes off them. And we're still getting that. And I think, I think next year, we were talking before, I said, I've done all these beans and Here's the thing, here's the truth of the matter. The Barlotti beans that we grew last year are still in a jar at home. So it's, that's a pointless exercise. I think next year, maybe we'll do a huge amount of tomato plants. We'll have some in the greenhouse doing exactly what we've done, like Jason was saying, spaced, repotted, and he learned a thing or two off... Um, Charles. Charles, about stringing them up. 
yeah tying them up supporting them supporting them increasing the yield of the plant um, because if you're taking off the um, the dead leaves the yellowing leaves at the bottom they're getting up to five six foot high they if not more tie them up um, and then you, you're encouraging the growth and you're yeah. getting we're getting more tomatoes um, as you'll have seen we're getting more tomatoes um, as as the season continues I think utopia will be whatever else we grow in there next year we'll do what our neighbours have done and get some tomato plants outside and really try and look after home and yeah. cover them when they need covering make them tall give them support yeah you know the all, all of that the reason we're mentioning Stuff. this of course and we're focusing in a little bit on this uh, in this particular vlog is because we know everybody says it but the tomatoes that we've had off the plot this year oh. they're so stunning they're so beautiful i've never had a tomato from a okay. supermarket um, that tastes like the tomatoes we've got here um, but i do think equally people find it a bit daunting i'd say have a go don't go silly with it if you haven't got a lot of space because they do take over maybe try growing two or maybe four tomato plants a couple that have got quite big tomatoes maybe a couple of that are cherry tomatoes give it a try you might be very pleasantly surprised and you can like uh, I mean go to your local garden center or your local kind of organic place by all means if you don't have the means to do that just look for a mixed tomato pack of seeds on uh, Amazon mrs. Fothergill's are great yeah um, I, I, you know there's 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 plenty on there mm -hmm. so yeah in terms of our tomatoes um, if you've seen the last couple of allotment vlogs that we've done uh, 60 uh, 76 and 77 I think We've had a huge amount of tomatoes already. We really have. We've still got a load in there that are ripening up, um, that are ready over the next couple of weeks, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. So it's been absolutely great, hasn't it? It's been amazing. Um, I'm so pleased with the potatoes as well this year. You showed the shot of all this before, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and our squashes, the great thing about squashes is, like, I try and use the whole squash, including the skin, because if you roast the skin of a squash, um, you can make it into a soup really easy. Yeah. I usually just chop the whole thing, get the seeds out the middle, top and tail, roast it all, make it into a soup. Beautiful soups. But the butternut squash is going to be our um, veg wraps with our own potatoes and possibly our own carrots and maybe a parsnip or two. Fabulous. Exciting times, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, it's been another cracking little um, hour or two on the allotment today. Um, we've got a lot to do. We're going to get back home, get this vlog edited for tomorrow. Yep. And we are live this evening at half past eight. We are. Yeah, yeah. So, so, onwards, as they say, as we say. We'll get watered, we'll get shut up and we'll get home. Love you, mister. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I would say sorry it's a short one again, but I'm not. Uh, because they will oh, get shorter. Wow and there'll come a point where there are none until the season next year starts so enjoy these while they last we're certainly enjoying yeah this is now the fruits of our labor um so yeah thanks so much for watching we'll see you again soon and until then please be excellent to yourselves and each other bye loves who's shouting <laughs>